Steamboat Geyser is the world's tallest active geyser, with its huge eruptions shooting water more than 300 feet into the air. It is one of over 500 geysers in Yellowstone. Geysers have the potential to occur wherever there is heat, water, and a natural plumbing system formed by gaps in underground rock. When water from rain and snow works its way underground, it eventually comes into contact with molten rock beneath the surface. This causes the water to heat up and travel back up towards the surface again. The superheated water eventually bursts out of the ground, where the relative lack of pressure causes it to flash into steam as a geyser. Yellowstone has so many geysers because it sits on top of a supervolcano, providing the heat that powers the national park's geothermal activity. Steamboat eruptions are unpredictable. The geyser was dormant for half a century until the early 60s, a couple of years after the 1959 Hebgen Lake earthquake. Since then, steamboats eruptions have been sporadic. Typically, the geyser goes through some periods of frequent eruptions, followed by years of dormancy in which nothing happens at all. From September 2014 through to March 2018, Steamboat Geyser did not erupt once, marking a dormancy period of around three and a half years. But through 2018 to June 2022, the geyser became active, shooting jets of hot water high into the air, sometimes multiple times per month. In 2019, it even smashed its own record for the number of eruptions in a single year, blasting water into the air 48 times. Its previous record, set in 2018, was 32 dot on June 20th, though this period of activity came to an abrupt end. In a monthly update posted on September 1st, the Yellowstone Volcano Observatory said that Steamboat Geyser had not erupted for more than two months. Michael Poland, a research geophysicist and scientist in charge at the Yellowstone Volcano Observatory, told Newsweek, it certainly seems as though Steamboat's activity is waning. We had 32 eruptions in 2018, 48 each in 2019 and 2020, and then just 20 in 2021, and so far in 2022 we've had only 8. I use the quotes because in just about any other year, those numbers would be awesome. But we've been spoiled for the past few years by the show that the geyser has been putting on. Poland said there may still be some life in the geyser for at least one more eruption this year, but the wider pattern of eruptions does seem to show a downwards trend. The geyser is having lots of minor activity, and that is typically a prelude to a major eruption, Poland said. That said, we've had well over a month of minor activity now, which we haven't seen during the current cycle of frequent eruptions. Whether or not Steamboat experiences another major eruption, the activity certainly does seem to be on the decline. But the geyser certainly put on an amazing show for us for the past several years. Meanwhile, former U.S. General Henry Washburn was leading an expedition exploring what would become Yellowstone National Park. As they ventured through the wilderness, his team happened across hundreds of geysers. One in particular caught their eye, hurling boiling water more than 100 feet into the sky almost every hour. Because of its regularity, they named it Old Faithful, and it is perhaps the most famous geyser in the world. Yellowstone, in Wyoming, sits above a huge volcanic caldera. Its magma chamber is 50 miles long and 12 miles wide. It is the magma that gives rise to the geysers. 
Surface water makes its way down to the molten rocks where it is ejected as a boiling jet through the Earth's surface. The world's biggest geyser, Steamboat, is also at Yellowstone and sprays jets more than 300 feet into the air. It is unpredictable, with intervals between eruptions ranging from 3 days to 50 years, it was entirely dormant between 1911 and 1961. Old Faithful, by contrast, can be relied upon to erupt 20 times a day, drawing flocks of visitors to its viewing platform. The spectacle was not always held in such high regard, however. Shortly after its discovery, it was used to launder clothes. Eruptions last up to 5 minutes. The shorter blasts expel around 3,700 gallons, while more vigorous explosions discharge 8,400. The temperature of the water at the vent itself is close to 96 C. Yellowstone's beauty conceals its destructive power. The caldera it sits on is referred to as a supervolcano, those whose eruptions are so large they can cause earth-shattering events, including ice ages. Up to 2,000 earthquakes occur in the park every year, although most are minor. But volcanologists see no evidence another such cataclysmic eruption will occur at Yellowstone in the foreseeable future. <laughs> 